hope your day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, it's the first Thursday of the month, and every first Thursday of the month, Hero Arts and Joanne.com have a brand new Make Yourself at Home card making kit. This month it's all about birthdays. I'm going to share with you what's in the kit, and then we are going to create some projects using it. If you guys are new or unfamiliar with the Make Yourself at Home card making kits, it's available and exclusive only at Joanne.com. You can't pick this up at Hero Arts. Um, it's only at joanne.com, and I'll leave that link down below, below in the description area if you want to head on over and check it out. But it's a great, great value for everything that you get in the kit. I'm going to create three cards today, but we're going to go over what's in the kit before we jump in. So I'm going to start off with the cardstock. I have it fanned out nice and pretty for you. <laughs> this is Hero Arts Hero Hughes cardstock. And if you're unfamiliar with the Hero Hughes cardstock, you will love it because it's a nice heavy weight. And um, it's great for card bases too. So these are eight and a half by five and a half inch sheets. You get two of each color. There's four colors in total. Um, but these make great card bases too. So if you were to score down the middle at the four and a half mark, um, it makes an A2 size card, which makes it really nice. You get four colors, like I mentioned. Blue is Periwinkle, the green is Limeade, you get Ultra Pink, and then you also get Bright Yellow here. So those are your color palette, which actually goes really perfect with the confetti pieces. You get some confetti in the kit this month that goes perfect with the balloons. And we're going to go over the stamp sets. You get a 4x6 stamp set. This has a lot of birthday sentiments with two balloons. Love this for lots of party occasions. Um, there's little accent pieces that you can add to the little string here. Just sky's the limit with balloons. I love this. This is called Festive Balloons. And then, of course, you get the coordinating frame cuts to go with it. The frame cuts will actually cut out the bow and the little um, fringe fringe attachments that you can put to the little string here. So that makes it really nice. Also, of course, the balloons. The sentiments will fit inside the larger balloon also. So those are your stamp and frame cuts. And then also included is a fancy die. This is a cover plate die. And it has streamers and confetti. This is the confetti fancy die. The party confetti fancy die. So I think the camera's picking up. You get the confetti, but you also get the streamers in there, which is really nice. So that's included. Also, you get three ink cubes, three different colors that coordinate with your card stock beautifully. You get uh, green hills, cornflower, and ultra pink. And I'm going to swatch these out because let me show you the colors that come in the kit. So, a lot in the Make Yourself at Home kit for August 2022. I'm going to grab some white card stock and we'll do a little swatching. Okay, I'm going to set these aside. This is ultra pink. It's a real pretty, like a fuchsia. Cornflower is a softer blue. But it's a beautiful color. And then here is your Green Hills. And that is your card kit. Card making kit this month. I'm going to put everything aside and then we're going to do some stamping and I don't think we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of coloring but not too much. I think we're going to do a little bit of ink blending on our colored card stock. To start off we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of die cutting. I am going to take the largest frame cut balloon and we're going to die cut this out with white card stock. And I'm also going to take this die and cut out a piece of acetate. Um, I think this is the perfect size to create a mini shaker, and this way we can add our confetti to it. Just love the colors of our confetti. So I'm going to die cut out um, with white cardstock. We're going to leave it white today. So let me run this through the die cut machine. Okay, we have our large balloon die cut out. Now what we're going to do is create a window in here. Now you can do it two ways. You can take the smaller die, just line up that the balloon bottom and then run this through the die cut machine or I'm going to go ahead and create a bigger window using one of my nesting circle dies. 
this is going to leave me a little bit bigger of a border. And you can see I already die cut out my acetate. It's going to fit perfectly behind my window. So we'll tape this down. We'll center it. And then I'm also going to do the, a die cutting with my background die. This is the Party Confetti Fancy Die. Love this. I'm going to take a panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches and run this through as well. Now we have everything we need to create our shaker. You can see how pretty our background is. We're going to put our dies aside and to create the shaker it's very easy. I'm going to add adhesive on the reverse side and then we're going to tack this down. We're going to leave it white. We're going to tack this down to the acetate since it's the same size it's going to be easy to line up and we have an acetate window. I'm going to flip this around and then we have I have some very thin foam strips and we're going to add this around the back edge after we have foam adhesive, let's zoom in a little bit. After we have foam adhesive around, I removed the release paper already, around our window, we can go ahead and add some of our confetti. So I filled my balloon with some confetti. Not, you don't want to fill it too full, otherwise it won't, the balloon's not that big. and it, You want it to shake a little bit. And then we're going to take our back piece and we're going to add this. Just line it up and tack it down. And then we have a little confetti balloon. It's super fun. And we're going to keep this white. Now, this, these two kind of look pretty plain on their own. So we are going to trim down some of our cardstock. To create my background, it's going to be very easy. We are going to trim down some one inch strips of cardstock. Now I brought in, I want to create a rainbow colored background and so I brought in that orange you see there. This, and all I had to do to create my rainbow was bring in the orange. And plus there's orange in our confetti mix. So I thought we'd create a colorful rainbow in our background. So we have five one inch strips and I have a piece of white cardstock. This measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. We're going to create a rainbow in our background. Now since these are one inch strips, of course this is four and a quarter inches tall. There's going to be a little bit overhanging. So we'll start with our yellow in the middle. That will be our middle color. And then I'm going to add the rest of the rainbow here. After yellow goes green. Now what we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. We're going to stamp it directly on our blank white balloon. And I think we're going to stamp. Now I went ahead and stamped my sentiment, it says less party, on my balloon. Um, and then before I put my ink away, I do want to stamp, figure out my placement here. And I want to stamp the balloon strings. There's a straighter one and then there's more of a curvy one. I'm going to use the curvy one. And we're going to stamp directly on that colored background that we created. Maybe we should flip it around. Let's see. Like so. And then we're going to go ahead and take the little bow that's in our stamp set and I'm going to stamp this with black ink also on some white cardstock. I have my little bows here. I went ahead and die cut them out. I'm going to flip them around and I'm going to take some small foam squares. I'm going to need to cut one in half and we're going to add a little dimension to these. Now before we add our bows, I want to add our sentiment. I'm going to use, put a foam square behind my sentiment and then I'll put one behind 
my shaker. These this these foam circles don't have that much dimension to them, so I'm not worried about them overlapping. But I'm just making sure that the tail of my bow is centered. We'll add this, and then we'll add our shaker. I need to scoot that down a little bit. And then I am going to go ahead and add my bows. How cute are those? <laughs> I'm going to flip this panel around. We're going to add some more foam circles behind here. Now before we add this to our card base, I created our card base with our, our Limeade cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and take our background. We're going to flip it around, add some adhesive behind it. And again, I want to just keep this white and let that green peek through. This is a card front panel, so it's going to be really easy to line up. And then I'll take my balloons and we're going to add that to the center. And then we have a little shaker. And that will finish off card number one. For my next card, we are going to create a mask for our balloons. So let's take our balloons. And I'm going to take some masking paper. We'll stamp our balloons and then cut these out. I want to make sure that they're kind of centered on here. I may have to redo that one, but I just want to make sure they're centered because we're not going to use the positive piece. We're going to use the negative piece. Okay, and again, keep these in your package because you could use these um, as a mask. Now I have the negative pieces. We're going to use these to color in our balloons. So let's go ahead and take some white cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my balloons. I want five different colors, so we'll do two small and three large. That one didn't stamp too well, so I, I stamped another one. <laughs> Now that I have my balloon stamped, we can do some coloring. I'm going to color in with the ink cubes that came with the kit. And I do want to bring in two extra colors. I want to bring in a yellow and also a orange. So I have orange soda and butter bar. I think those will coordinate with our papers beautifully. Now that there are large balloons. When I created my mask, I just made sure that there was one cut line. This is going to make sure that it's just going to make it easier. I'm going to remove the release paper off of my mask, off the negative piece, and then we're going to line this up over our balloon, like so. And then using my finger daubers, we're going to color in our, our balloons. I love doing this because it just makes it really easy. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with my yellow. Then we're just going to add a little bit of color. And then to the yellow on one side, I'm going to darken up that ink. I'm going really light. So I'm going to darken it up. This is just going to give me a little bit of a shadow and give my balloons a little bit of depth. You can see that kind of backwards C. That's with Butter Bar. Then we're going to remove our mask, replace it on another balloon. You can see how not, now I'm doing this because we're going to die cut this out and I want the white border. Now I have my next mask over my balloon. Since we use yellow, we're going to skip to the next color, which is orange soda. And again, these are from my stash. And we're going to add a light coat. And our balloons are good to go. And I completely forgot the, about the edge on this one, but you can't really tell. So I didn't color in that balloon, but we have some bright colorful balloons. I'm going to take the coordinating dies and we're going to die cut them out. 
after I have my balloons die cut out, we're going to work on our background. I die cut out our party confetti background with white cardstock. And I'm going to, I try to keep for the most part the pieces in here, at least the streamers. And I'm going to flip over my panel and then replace the ones that kind of got away. And I thought we would do a little bit of ink blending on this panel. So we'll just tuck these back in here. Now that I have my confetti put back in its home, I'm going to gently flip it over and we're going to do a little ink blending. If you want to secure it with some low-tack tape, you can, but the ink blending is going to be pretty basic. For that, I'm going to use my blending tools and those same inks, the three that came in our kit, plus butter bar and orange soda. And we're going to go for this one in rainbow order also. And I'm going to start with my blue ink. And we're going to add some color to the bottom. Then I'll add my green. Then we'll add yellow. Okay, and I think that is going to work out fabulous. Now, for the, since the pieces stayed intact, what we're going to do next is flip it around and then using my tape runner, I'm going to go over just the confetti pieces. And if I pick up some of the circle confetti, I am not too worried about that. And one more over here. For the most part, I have adhesive behind all of the confetti pieces. I'm going to take my card base. I created a card base with the ultra pink. I'm going to place this over the front. I'm going to place this on the back side of my panel. And then I'm going to flip it around. And since we only put it where the confetti is, I'm going to lightly lift it up. Kind of pressing down on the, you might want to bring in a craft pick to do this. But just gently lift up. Pressing those confetti pieces in place. And it looks like we are almost done. We are one away from the reveal. And I think that looks fun. Now I do have some little extra confetti pieces. I can just wipe those away. So we're going to keep this. We're actually going to punch out all these pieces, all the circles in this panel. Now I went ahead and die cut out one more of our backgrounds with white cardstock. We're going to flip that panel around and we're going to add some adhesive behind it. And then we're going to place this over our existing. We've got to make sure it's right side up. And here we're going to go ahead and adhere this over the front of our card. So all, and it's going to fit just like a puzzle. And I think that looks pretty fabulous. We have the, the pink in the background, but we have all the bright colored confetti pieces. Now we can add our balloons, but we need some balloon strings. So for that, I'm going to use again, that same, you know what, let's switch it out. We're going to use the, almost the straighter balloon string, put this on acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp this with my black ink. Since we have five balloons, I need five strings. Okay, my balloon strings are fussy cut out. And I did leave the tops a little bit longer. It just makes it easier when you want to adhere it. Now I'm going to flip over my balloons. I'm going to add some adhesive and add my strings. And now we need a sentiment. So with my lightest color ink, which is the yellow, the butter bar, I have the sentiment that says celebrate, it's your day. We're going to stamp this with our black ink, our intense black ink. We're 
right inside the balloon. And it fits just lovely. And then we get to arrange our balloon in the center of our panel here. So let's flip them over and add some foam circles behind here. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind my balloon strings. Kind of tuck those down. And then any excess overhanging I'm going to trim off. And then we're going to take some of our confetti and we're going to add a few extra pieces here. And I think that looks perfect. And that will finish off my second card. Super fun card. Now for my final card today, we're going to take our ink blended background and we're going to adhere this to a yellow card base that I created with our bright yellow card stock. And we'll just secure this to the front of our card. And then we're going to do a little bit more stamping. I have some white card stock. And in our stamp set, we have the little fringe. And then we also have the little string that the fringe can go on. I'm going to take that and we'll stamp this. We'll stamp that. And then we're going to take each one of our, I guess we, I'm calling them fringe, but it's tass, there could be tassels too. And we'll ink one up with yellow, our butter bar. I'm going to ink one up with orange soda. And our last one with our ultra pink. That didn't stamp too well. Better. <laughs> so we have the perfect amount of colors for these little tassels. Okay, since we have coordinating dies, I'm going to line them up and we're going to die cut out each one of our little tassels. Now I have, let's see. Now I have, I did fussy cut out my little string that these little tassels are going to connect to. And we're going to flip these over. And I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind here. Before I remove the release paper, I have a piece, a panel that's going to be a little bit smaller than my card base. And I thought we would, since we have lots of confetti still left over, I thought we would make a edge to edge shaker with this. So I trim down a piece of packaging to fit behind my, my panel and I'm actually going to use my scissors and I'm going to trim away some of the excess. These have been so fun to create. Okay, and then I'll take some, conf um, before we make our shaker, I do want to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to stamp it over here in the bottom and I want happy birthday. No. Happy birthday to you. I think it's going to be nice. Okay, now what we're going to do is flip over our panel using my tape runner. I'm going to add adhesive to the bottom, to the left, and to the right. We're going to leave that top open. And then we're just going to fold this over. We'll fold the right over. Then I'm going to pick this up and trim off at an angle the bottom and then we can trim away I'm going to trim away the excess just so we have that flap here. I'm going to add some more adhesive. Fold this up and then we've created a little pocket. You can see here. I'm going to take my confetti and pour some in here. I'm making sure that it's flat. There, there can be, like, I don't know if, there can be some confetti pieces that are really thick. 
you don't want those in your edge to edge because it's going to throw off the balance. So we'll take those out. <laughs> that was a pretty thick one, you can see here. And then once we have our confetti, we're going to flip it closed. I'm going to trim away the left corner and the right corner and that excess overhanging. I'm going to add some adhesive. We just flip over the top. We have a nice edge to edge shaker that's filled with confetti. How fun is this? My, next I put adhesive behind my little string and we're going to add this at an angle here. Maybe we need, yeah, cool. at an angle here. I think that's going to work out great. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add some foam circles behind here. I'm going to take my panel and we're going to add this to the front of our confetti, centering it. And then we can add each one of our little tassels here, like so. And then that will finish off that card. I think it's a fun element and really it's not bulky. If you wanted not to put the foam adhesive behind your little tassels and make it flat, you very well could. So the, how about that? So here's a look at all three cards that we made with the Hero Arts and Joanne.com Make Yourself at Home Card Making Kit for August 2022. We all need birthday cards and I was super excited about this kit. And we have lots left over. A lot of stash building elements. We made two shaker cards and we still have a lot of the confetti left over. Not to mention your stamps and dies, but great value for the kit. And again, it's available only at joanne.com and that link is down below. Have a great day. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.